This year it was. Yeah. Okay, so next up, um, we're going to start looking at like the actual assembly. So I'm going to keep it really simple for this exercise so you understand how to like layer information and start creating assemblies out of like basically kind of redundant systems. Um, but I want to I wanna kind of uh, organize first. So um, first up, what I'm going to do here is kind of slide this thing over. And I'm going to start pulling back some information that's critical to this project. Okay, so this is your first lesson in file management. So I think you all should pay attention to it. All right. um, I'm going to rename this distance to um, edge offset. Okay, so, and I'm going to kind of pull that back here. Um, I'm also going to rename curve. I'm going to rename this. Um, I'll just call it slab edge. And then I'm going to rename these numbers and I'm going to say um, bottom rail, uh, bottom and top rail. Guard rail actually. If you want to get fancy, you can call it bottom and top guard rail height. Be even more clear. Okay, so why am I doing this? I'm doing this so that I can isolate all of the information that's going to define what my guardrail is in terms of its variables, okay? So this can be really clean or it can be quite messy. So um, I'm gonna kind of let it get messy for a while and um, then I'm gonna show you how to clean it up later. So let's move on to the um, next idea. Uh, the next idea is to start breaking it up into um, panels. So um, that's going to be pretty simple. We have our lofted surface here. We can do what to get panelized subdivisions, right? Like think something kind of like this. What's that? Yes, absolutely. Divide domain. Um, so let's go to math domain. We're going to use divide domain squared. And when we use that, we also need... Yes, isotrim. Whoops, isotrim. Okay, so plug it in here. Whoops, not there. Here and there and there, right? The triangle. Um, and then we're gonna. Um, so there are actually some like this isn't absolutely the smartest way to do this, right? I'm keeping it simple for you. Um, so we're gonna eyeball how far apart these things are in terms of code requirements, like and. Like you don't, and just like structural requirements, there are limits to how far apart these things really should be. Um, but don't worry so much about it. Um, we're just going to eyeball it. So let's go to, um, we're subdividing it. Let's do one is less than 10, and just make it 15. Cool. So something like that, so that you're. Um, subdivisions are relatively rectangular, right? But not quite square, you know? Um, that should be a good enough subdivision. So I want to um, point something out, though, is that when we've subdivided this, these are really kind of just the panels, right? Like it hasn't really done much in terms of um, creating, uh, how do I want to say it? it? It hasn't really created the uh, like the legs, the posts. Okay, so that's important, right? Because this is just going to be the infill. So let's do this again. Same values, right? I'm going to actually borrow, actually, just, uh, we want the same number of subdivisions, but we want a different surface. Actually, you know what, sorry. I'm going to leave uh, this one at this, and let's just kind of do the panels first, and then I'll do the legs in an external frame. Okay, so um, what we've got here is your subdivided surface, but we want to create, you know, rails within it, balusters. Um, so let's do this again. But let's do it on this subdivide. Why does that give me that error? Five untrimmed surfaces. Why is this in groups of five? Ah, this needs to be grafted. Boom. 
All right, so once you graph that, that's going to come out in groups, and you can define, um, you know, sort of how many subdivisions you want for each particular panel. So kind of get it tight like that, and then, um, yeah, we'll just get it get it tight to the uh, system, and then we'll work with that. So in theory, you don't have to do it on this subdivision, but it, it makes sense because when you panelize it, you know exactly you know, that you're getting an isolated system, right? So you can kind of adjust that. If you do it across the entire surface, then you might get some irregularities based on where your posts go. Does that make sense? Okay. I sense a lot of chatter. Am I moving too fast? But this is all stuff you've seen before, so I think you can catch up rather quickly. So I'm going to pause for a minute. All right, guys, so um, something I'm going to do real quick for this thing, um, I'm going to keep this simple, right? So I'm just going to do pipes, right? And we'll kind of worry about, like, actual geometry and stuff later. Um, but uh, essentially, like, this thing, all we have to do is just break it apart with deconstruct brep, like that, and then add the pipe command to it. <laughs> So that's going to be the edges, and it's going to look really crazy for a while, but let's do um, 0 to 1.00. I definitely don't need to go that high, but just kind of create these tiny little pipes like that. Um, and then you can define the uh, end condition that you want if you want to, but I don't think it's going to be an issue on this uh, definition. So, But let's, uh, let's still make it a 2 anyway. that so what that means is when I turn all this other stuff off right I have this okay so this is the point I want you to get to before we start working on the on the actual like pipe frame that's gonna hold these things up 